Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Slingshot World TV and well, let's focus right in on one of the prime identifying features of the establishment I've come to today because yes, I'm back at Tillingbourne Trout Farm a place I discovered because of Frog Island Fishery with the Angler's Mail when reporting for their fisheries and where that lovely Jerry and his staff have become well, proper mates now they've sold Slingshot World magazine and well, it's geographically a great place and, oh dear, can't go home without some of the smoked salmon. So, geographically a great place to meet up with Mark Clark and John Jeffries to uh, examine the contents of this box. Because quite excitingly, it says United States Postal Service and it has a Made in the USA sticker. This is the equipment that arrived after issue 3 was made and after I'd got the interest and raised eyebrow of Saunders Archery and Chuck Saunders himself, the boss. Um, and, uh, well, this is a big, serious company that has an awful lot of kit to do with archery in the States. And have they ever got some cool stuff? A bit of paperwork here. Um, I have three sling shots and some clod popper ammo, which we'll get into some detail on. This is the wing. Look at this beautiful, beautiful podrisky material that it comes with, I should say. The tag. Brilliant. Seriously, uh, beautifully packaged product. This is the Pro X. And this is a Starship. And the bands are equipped to shoot mighty half inch ammunition. Half inch is what they approve best. Um, bag of clay balls called Claude Poppers. And uh, spare bands. This is says pepper sight, but it's got an ordinary thing in because the pepper sight is in fact fitted to the Falcon X. Okay, well look, that's those bits. Let's uh, do each one in uh, in some detail now. Let's give each one a little clip. Righty ho, let's have a little look at the uh, Saunders wrist rocket. It's a registered trademark to Saunders. This is the wing. It says under that. The new paradigm in slingshot technology. It's a good word. Paradigm. I'm, I'm not sure I can define it. Check out the uh, stuff that's attached to it. It says, check out our wrist rocket gear at wristrocket.com. That is the Pippa Sight. That's a heck of a thing. Bucket of ammo, catch box. Let's um, take the uh, lovely golden rubber bandy thing off of that. And just sort of open this on camera. The wing comes fully loaded. Twin accessory ports. Accessory ports? Ooh. That's one. Where's the accessory port? Aha, here. <laughs> that means a place you could put the pipa sight in it. Folding storage bay. Ooh, I, I, ooh, in the handle. I hadn't actually discovered that. <sighs> it's interesting. Um, tether quick thrust band adjustment. A tether is that bit. Quick thrust band attachments. That bit there. Um, we invited to strap on, lock in, and experience unmatched freedom and precision. Experience the wing. The wing is a precision shooting instrument for experienced slingshot enthusiasts. It blends advanced ergonomics, structure, and launch dynamics into a futuristic design. Interested? Open this page and see how the wing is. The new paradigm in slingshot technology. Oh, and there is some dude. Oh, look, look, he's not holding onto it. His hand is open. The wing slingshot is like no other. What does this mean? It means the wing floats in your fingers, not gripped by your hand. It means less torsion and greater accuracy. It means an unmatched shooting experience, comfortable, relaxed and focused on the target, not the discomfort of struggling with the conventional slingshot. So, this has been described as being aimed at archers, or rather, uh, aimed at, being marketed to archers. Dang, there goes my phone. I'll stop that and start again. Hilarious, that was a very guilty sounding Mr. John Jeffries admitting that he'd forgotten to bring the magazines he'd had left over from the shooting show. But, uh, because he takes. Oh, look at this. This wing comes with a little sort of pockety do. Oh, that clips on your belt. Oh, look at that, a mo. Let's just take the plastic thing away. And this is the wing. That unfolds there. And it's just. A little sign on here that says correct band path explaining how you fit the bands to this thing let's just see if we get that to focus on there it's very important okay enough of me talking about it open up, open up, open up. Oh, and so here we go 
and the, uh, the hold is to point those bits forward, thumb and finger around there, and literally just pulling against the bands. The bands themselves are a bit interesting too. So if we open this up, check out what they've done. They are designed to be sold in big box stores and to last people so that they don't have to keep coming back. Oh, 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 hello, a little baggy, I've forgotten about that. Rather nice little baggy. Wrist rocket wing. I hope I'm keeping this all in the viewfinder. The little metal doodars on. Nice little bag. And um, the band sets that I was telling you about. These uh, come in black or this tan color. And they're pretty well doubled because they just loop around this interesting little piece of plastic here. So I can get that in focus. Hang on a sec. Here we go. Put that against my hand. Give you to focus a moment. Yes. Now the thing is, is this is ammo specific, and it's uh, cool little mold. And this piece of plastic here, half inch, and they even give you one steel ball in a little bag and a gauge to check that you've got the right one. Now it just so happens that Reese Sayers, Balls of Steel Sussex, despite me saying, "No, oh, I don't need your freebies," always sends bags of freebies out. So as a result, having got involved with Saunders quite late in the uh, issue 3's doings, um, turns out I've got loads of, uh, well these are 44 cals, here we go, 44 steel is good, 50 cal is best, I've got a bunch of 50 cal, anyway, so uh, all sorts of bits and bobs, and uh, a little instruction manual, oh no, no, less of the little, hang on, let's open this up. Oh, look at all this stuff. There's loads of it. Italian, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese. Whew. That US, German and French. US is against English. And so basically there's a column of instructions in that bit of paper for each language and there's loads. So it's intended as a fully international type product. So how does that open up? Do you just pull? This is a warning on here. Sorry, I'm waving it around, not sure I'm catching on camera properly. Warning, not a toy. Severe injury possible. Before use, read safety guidelines and view safety videos at wristrocket.com forward slash safety dot php. And the two US patent numbers. Well, I'll tell you what, let's uh, fit the band to that so you can see what that looks like. Let's stop that for a moment. Right, well, there it is in my hand with the lanyard strapped up because that's a crucial part of it. And the band set. Yes. Here's the uh, band set clips that can be replaced for the uh, fibre optic sight, which is so much better than anything else I've seen in sling shots. It's almost astonishing, but check this out. Right, I'm increasing the tension and I'm not holding on. I'm completely open handed. So, this is the Saunders difference. Every product seems to be designed to be used. Like that bloke in the uh, in the graphic. There he is. Like that, fingers and stuff all pointing forwards. There's me. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? The Saunders win. What a piece of kit. Right, let's have a little look at the uh, Falcon X. That's the uh, evolution of the wrist rocket metal frame thing into, well, this is a kind of latter product, probably should have that one first, but anyway, that's the wing. Okay, next up, Falcon X. This is the flagship wrist braced slingshot from Saunders. Beautifully designed for ultimate comfort and shooting precision. An elegant blend of science and psychology. The Falcon X features an ergonomic design that distributes pressure across its unique archery style platform. There's that word again and minimizes the human input that undermines shooting accuracy. The palm plate promotes a relaxed natural grip for any size hand, and the bail guard puts the inexperienced shooter at ease. You can hand shot yourself while confidently mastering the sport in the hands of a skilled enthusiast, the Falcon X frees them from the limitations and restraints of more traditional shooting platforms. Concern over grip, shooter's input, torque and rotation, and fatigue. In other words, 
This is a slingshot for people who are archers and who want to learn how to do it without actually having them involved so much. Quick snap, power adjustment and band replacement. Click and lock, take down assembly. There's the tactical green with metallic gold accents uh, handguard thing. Bit of a tether, low forks, and they point forwards as well. Let's open this up. It's got black mamba bands on. And, uh, oh, there's some other products here. You can get the spin trap, catch box, and hats as well. More swag, right. Lovely box. Check out the wrist rocket logo there. And which way up have I got this? Have I got this the right way up or not? I have. The top of it has a little zippy bag, but you get this piece, you get this piece handle, which has got a little flange on it to be adjustable for your hand size. In my case, I've got it on the biggest one already. There's this little metal piece here. Oop, chucking the tape around, funky thud, which holds everything together, because this is main business end of it. And as you can see, one of them is see-through. That is the Pippa side. I'll have a little closer look at that in a bit. Although I know, do know that getting the fibre optic to show on camera can be quite challenging. Okay, let's uh, assemble this here thing. Right, well basically, you've got the bottom and the top. This bit goes around there. This bit Oops. goes on first. <laughs> yes. This bit goes on first. This bit goes on second. Okay. And then this bit clamps on the lot. Where's it go? That goes around there. Gosh, hang on, clip it on Rainer, you can do this. There we go. All clipped together. With that flange on the bottom. Whoa, that's a brace. That really is a heck of a brace. I think the light's moving around here a bit. Might move the camera slightly. Yes. So yes, I think that was a slightly overlit assemblage and packing together video for the uh, Pro X. But there's there's what it looks like. This flange at the bottom, three different positions so that it fits your hand because that's a big piece of the uh, Saunders thing and uh, a bit of a wrist guard wrist brace and a handguard, a bit of metal that clips it all together and look at the starship effect because there is a good few inches centimetres of forward reaching distance. Now that pipa sight at the top, I think it's time to pull that out and let you have a little closer look at that. Here we go. This is a separate accessory and that for the first time is the first time I think you've been able to see quite how bright that fibre optic is. It looks noticeably bright in the background. And yes, on the top, that is a spirit level. Now the instructions have changed since recent deliveries. See that little line there? That trough, that's where the spirit level can fit. And you get a little sticky pad from 3M of gloop to move it and stick it back on again. But look at this. It's clear but it has quite a lot of fibre optic in there. This they describe as military specification fibre optic, as, as used on archery kit in the States. And you can quite clearly see there, that's the first time I've ever master it, dropped it, that the fibre optic is gathering light along its length, which is all peering out at the end. And of course, when you're looking down your slingshot at that, you can check for how level it is, Oh, there we go. As well, as with the naked eye, see 
those fiber optic dots which really do poke your eyes out in daylight okay well let's get some bands fitted to this and uh, along with the other piece of gear I'm about to show you we'll get it out into the field because Mark and uh, Mark Clark and John Jeffries have arrived now and we'll have them have a little play but first let's check out the Pro X okay we've changed camera angle a bit just to have a little look at this 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 is the Pro X and it's quite clearly about hunting the long range predator at the top of the food chain this monster delivers a high energy wallop when others fall short then folds into its own smooth shell waiting for its next prey this sun is a bit we're invited to strap on lock in and move into the fast lane of precision shooting Pro X Ooh, sounds bare ass ow we can go serious bit of packaging oh there we go and uh, again fabulous printed material about the uh, product look at the luxury of the individual gloss printing it's all shiny now but tell you that's an expensive little print job ok so this is a piece of plastic and uh, in the back of this we're getting a sample of clod poppers which we'll have a little closer look at at the moment and there's that ball gauge again for the single 50 cal ball this time oh getting a bit bright Move the camera around a tiny bit. Here we go. Check this thing out. It opens up, comes up, and goes clunk. It's really, really long. And then you've got all this stuff. There's a handle, there's two super long arms. All together, I measured last night. Oops, sealed the band into that. Ah, there we go. Measured last night these arms at 150 centimeters. 150 millimeters, 150 centimeters, 150 millimeters to your pull. Oh, and the handle is just locks into place as well. Bop. And um, here we go. The black bamboo bands. There's where you hold it. And it is absolutely super colossal huge. Check this thing out. I don't think we're doing it justice in the sunshine in here. <laughs> it keeps on going. I think the plot now is to take all this kit out into the field, as it were, and uh, have the boys have a go on it. <laughs> 